What we see is that in most controversial conversations, there's almost always an element of power that cannot be ignored. We need to be aware of this potential dynamic. And I say potential dynamic very much on purpose because we know that communication is personal. Be aware that this could be a potential element in your conversation, but don't assume to know what the other person feels or why they're responding a certain way. This is where we find a very fine line between awareness and racism. If I lump all black people together and I assume that they all have the same beliefs, thoughts, if I ap apply the same interpretation to every black person's response and behavior, that is actually racist in itself. Dr. Ibram Kendi in his book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, tells us to be anti-racist is to de-racialize behavior, to remove the tattooed stereotype from every racialized body. Behavior is something humans do, not something races do. So just because somebody is black doesn't mean they feel the exact same way as the black influencer on your social media feed. Communication is personal. It is based on a personal understanding of the other person. It's dangerous to make assumptions, and it's dangerous to mind read. So we have to ask, what are your thoughts? How has all of this impacted you? Learn about the other person's personal experience, just like you would for anyone else on any other topic. Because again, behavior is something specific to human beings, not to specific races.